Daisy. Are you tired of being full? Let's see your bilkies. We got Daisy for $40 as a bottle calf. She was supposed to be for meat along with the three other calves we got at the same time, but then the pandemic happened, and since we weren't going anywhere, it seemed like the perfect time to try a family milk cow. We've been milking Daisy for one year now. We're calf sharing, which means that the calf is with her during the day, and we separate them in the evenings and milk Daisy in the mornings. But this particular day, since her calf, Butterscotch, was in heat and we needed to separate her from the other animals, Daisy needed to be milked in the evening as well. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. I see you. When we first started milking Daisy, my son was in charge and he milked her by hand. But then he tried the electric milker that a friend had loaned us, and it seemed to do a more efficient job, so he stuck with that. When my husband took over the milking, he much preferred to use the electric milker. My husband is all about efficiency and speed and doesn't want to spend any extra time milking. She'd love running you over, so you might not want to be there. My son built that little stall at the back of the shed for a milking station. It's not ideal, but it works. It's not actually, this side is not at full. Which side? This side. It's just, this quarter here is really full. We have learned that a lot of people actually prefer hand milking to using an electric milker. They say it's easier to milk by hand than to mess with washing up the machine. However, the electric milker has worked really well for us. It's fast and my husband can get the whole milking done in 30 minutes from when he leaves the house to when he puts the milk in the fridge and the milker is put away on the shelf. Also, Daisy is a proud member of the itty bitty titty committee which makes it really hard to hand milk her. One and three quarters, maybe two.
gate, John? Yeah, I do. A lot of people don't use an electric milker because it takes a while to wash. That's what they say, that the cleanup is so hard. So we are including this in this video so you can see what it actually takes to clean it up. He already took the inflations off. They are not supposed to get wet and then he pops out the rubber seal. This part came with a special brush that he just puts some dish soap on and then scrubs the inside with that. Altogether, it takes about two and a half to three minutes to clean and sure, it's a pain, but it's not that big of a deal, really. Done. <laughs>